Apartheid was basically one, one could say an intensified form of colonialism that was that went hand in hand with Afrikaner nationalism uh, and this idea of that we need a, a, a intensified segregation of the races. So therefore those population groups needed different cultural representations. So you would have uh, cinema made for white people in general and then you have uh, what so-called Bantu films made for Bantu people. <laughs> One can see that in purely commercial terms, the idea that there's money to be made from an audience that isn't being tapped by conventional films. But one can also see in it the idea that black audiences were seeing representations of themselves on screen in a way that hadn't been seen before. Films in the vernacular, Zulu and all those kind of things, uh, in their languages, were being made. And of course, they couldn't go to white cinemas or colored cinemas. They had their own very few cinemas. They would go out with mobile projectors and stuff. This was essentially black films for the black people. Totally non-political. And this was the understanding. Provide an entertainment platform, but not an entertainment platform that, that questioned the status quo. There's content which promotes values. Um, good versus evil, you know, crime doesn't pay off. Then the comedies, and the westerns, spaghetti westerns set in Africa, black cowboys. Some of them were actually good movies, uh, made with a limited budget. I did quite a few of those movies during that time, amazingly. We were not so much informed about what was happening. You were just given the script and told to act. But working on set, was glorious. We lived in this bubble. Creative people lived in, a, in an enormous tent. It is from then on that black people learned to be technically trained. Because before then, black people were just in front of the camera as actors, even then playing small roles. And that's it. The, the, the evils of apartheid and separation, films like Joe Bullitt, one never sees its daily effect. It's there because it's, it, it's, it's evident because it's just not there in any form. It's just absence, as if this world of Joe Bullitt exists without any kind of sort of white power behind it. And I think that's what's kind of interesting about that, that cinema.